Hi guys, Paul Michaels here from Real Dog Training and Big Game Indicating Dogs. So I've got a question here. This is comes from Instagram, Big Game Indicating Dogs Instagram. Nathan James Bird or Nathan Bird. Paul, what's your basic routine around the house for your dogs slash pups outside of deer dog training? What manners do you enforce to prevent them picking up and developing bad habits? It's a good question. There's sort of two different sides to this. Um, you'll see in the deer dog training blueprint, people that have followed that, I keep everything really controlled, uh, particularly during the first sort of four to six months with a pup. Um, I don't do a huge amount of socialization with other dogs, I do a little bit. Um, I keep, you know, socializing and that mad playing around with kids quite restricted and really just focus on building the bond between me and my pup and setting up my commands and control and just molding my pup into a, a really nice, um, quiet, uh, calm and attentive dog. That, that When I say attentive, it's attentions on me and it's looking to me for direction all the time. Um, not in a, in a dominating way where the pup's sort of looking to me um, scared in any way. It's looking to me like, Team, what do you want me to do next? You know, um, the, the pup's really looking up to me, and a huge part of why everything's so structured early on is that we talked about this in our in number number one Q and A is that the way pups prioritise activity. So I don't want a pup to spend all his time mad running around with kids all the time, like three hours a day of that, um, and then if I do that, that becomes a high priority activity for the pup. And then it's hard for me to get the pups focused when I'm trying to do 10 or 15 minutes of training when it's been tearing around with kids all day. So in short, everything's pretty structured during the first four or five months. Um, and we slowly just add more and more freedom and, and responsibility. I've got a YouTube video about this, freedom and responsibility. My dogs get more and more freedom and responsibility as they're ready to cope with that. So it's not about just letting them go nuts when they're a pup before they have any, um, you know, skills or discipline or, or any idea of the world. It, that'd be like, um, you know, sending a two-year-old kid outside to <laughs> uh, just just play on the road when it's two years old. You know, you don't you don't let your kid go out and do its own thing until it reaches a certain age because it's not old enough to deal with it. Um, however, once we've worked on our training and our dogs are ready for that freedom and responsibility, they get a lot of it. Um, I've actually got print and fly <laughs> are laying um, here now. Early on, my pups sleep in the kennel all the time. They spend quite a lot of time in kennel and crates. Um, I've actually got another dog over here in a crate that uh, Luke's dog, River. Um, River's sort of made, he's 10 months old, he's making that transition now from being good and comfortable in a kennel to being able to get to the point where he can just live the good life and be like old Print over here, he's just crashed out on the, on the nice rug in front of the fire. Um, and Fly's three years old, she's well into that. She, Fly's hardly ever goes in a, in a kennel at all anymore unless she really has to, um, unless I'm leaving the property or something. So yeah, as far as the routine, I'm all about setting a pup or a dog up well and lots of control early on in life. So I get a dog to 12 or 18 months old and it has no bad habits and it's now turning into a mature dog um, and then they live the good life and then I'm sort of free to do whatever I want and I don't have to worry about those bad habits coming in um, and their routine outside of training and hunting is actually very relaxed. Um, as for how we manage it um, in training before that's sort of all in the blueprint um, but if anyone that's following the blueprint or watching these videos and that has any more questions on that um, again just just put them in the comment section of this video and we'll just tr we'll try to get to them in another Q&A. So I hope that's, that's answered that question. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time in another Q&A.